watch, hit the watch and trend. We up on this podcast, so tell a friend. Tell everyone you know that they gotta go. Listen to this podcast, sit back, enjoy the show. And it's hosted by Miles that you gotta know. Plus, Brian, two trends, rise like a lot of dough. And it's on your social media, we're scrolling in. Trend lightly, stories just rolling in. something on the internet that traumatized you that isn't immoral but is objectively bad this is mine something on the internet that traumatized you that isn't immoral but is objectively bad this is mine something on the internet that traumatized you that isn't immoral but is objectively bad uh, way too many to count. Uh, I know one that's major was Illuminati. Literally spent three days at my neighbor's house researching all that shit. And then would go home at night and I couldn't even sleep. Like, I believe that shit so much. Like, it just, like... I thought they were in my, my in the room. I thought they were in the house. They were to come and get us. Like, I didn't want to see no more Rihanna, Umbrella, uh... Look up Illuminati, Rihanna, Umbrella, and they tell they talk about that bitch being all distorted and like bending, and then the triangles, and it just made sense at the time. Okay, something on the internet that traumatized you that isn't immoral but is objectively bad. I don't know if stuff you made yourself counts for this, but I made a meme so bad it's literally haunting me. You know that tugboat character from Thomas the Tank Engine? I photoshopped Ted Cruz's face on it and named it Ted Cruz. I swear I see apparitions of this in my window when I'm going to sleep. I made a meme so bad, it is the demon haunting my sleep. This, this is my, the conjuring, this is my exorcist, this is... When I enter the gates of hell, because I know that's where I'm going, this will be there. Something on the internet that traumatized you that isn't immoral, but is objectively bad. Something on the internet that traumatized you that isn't immoral but is objectively bad. This is mine. So for any of you that have been on the internet for a very long time, you probably remember jump scares. Oh yeah. One jump scare in particular, if you remember <laughs> this fucking picture, you know exactly what I'm talking about. My poor little eight, nine year old ass was just scrolling through YouTube, trying to find like ghost videos and stuff, and that one traumatized me and i'm talking like after the jump scare happened i literally like sat back and my hands were like shaking so bad that video and all kinds of jump scares i fucking hated for so long something on the internet that traumatized you that isn't immoral but is objectively bad this, this tweet
Something on the internet that traumatized you that isn't immoral but is objectively bad. This is mine. I'm going to say two words that are going to trigger every single early 2000s pop punk fan. Milk. Thick. Thank you. Good Something on the internet that traumatized you that isn't immoral but is objectively bad. This is mine. The Beach Apocalypse. Something on the internet that traumatized you that isn't immoral but is objectively bad. Something on the internet that traumatized you that isn't immoral but is objectively bad. This is mine. Something on the internet that traumatized you that isn't immoral but is objectively bad. Something on the internet that traumatized you that isn't immoral but is objectively bad. Nothing personal to Andrew Ducote himself, but this era of Tumblr is cursed. <laughs> it's cursed because it taught a bunch of young girls, or like made a bunch of young girls who probably are queer now, or maybe I'm just projecting, but it convinced us that we need to date boys who need mothers. Like... Peter Pan syndrome is one thing, but Wendy Darling syndrome, where you just date real life Peter Pans, cursed. Just here to watch, here to watch a trend. We up on this podcast, so tell a friend. Tell everyone you know that they gotta go. Listen to this podcast, sit back and join the show. And it's hosted by Miles that you gotta know. Plus, Brian too, trends rise like a lot.